These two pulling guards coming to the area will always give me a blocking advantage, making this one of the easiest plays to run through any run play in Madden 22. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some run plays for you guys today. That's right, I'm back in my pistol playbook, which to me is one of the best playbooks in the game, and especially one of the best when it comes to run plays. One of the best things about the pistol playbook is it has a, a lot of formations that aren't Woo! found in any playbook in the game, but there's a specific run that's not found anywhere else for the most part. But that play is the strong power. Now, if you have pistol formations in your favorite playbook, check to see if you have a strong power because the strong power is in a lot of different pistol formations. It's one of the very uh, unique runs that really is only found in pistols. And if you see here, I'm going through many different formations and I'm finding the strong power in pretty much all of them. Now, to me, the formation that has the best run plays and pass plays is going to be the U deep slot. This particular formation has pretty much the same uh, caliber run plays as every other you know formation in the game, especially when it comes to the strong power, but it has some really good pass plays, especially some of these crossing concepts, which is going to be very hard for defenses to stop. But go ahead, I'll show you guys my four play setup. Like I said, the strong power is probably the most explosive run play in the formation. Uh, the most consistent is probably the stretch. You guys all know that play. That's the probably the meta when it comes to outside runs, basically of the fact that it's the most common although like i said i do feel like the strong power can be more explosive consistently if it was more available uh, then you also have the halfback counter which obviously is going to be uh, good if your opponent starts shifting um, you know in the direction of the strong power run or the stretch run to the one side and then the dive is going to be important based off of the fact that you always want to make sure you have an inside run if your opponent starts spraying their line to try to stop some of these outside runs so let's go and let's pick the strong power then on the defensive side we're just going to go with a random play now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and help support the channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below use discount code money to get three percent off it's always guaranteed to be cheapest coins in the market now, as far as this play goes i mean i find that it works really well stock but a lot of times, especially if it's his own coverage, I'm going to go and flip the play with the right stick by hitting the right stick to the left and go in the opposite direction. I feel like this here gives me a lot of opportunities, um, although there, I, I don't know how I didn't make that guy miss, but you can see you get a lot of opportunities in this direction. There will be opportunities like here. You could say, you know, it looks like a cover three. I could try to run it outside here. Um, a lot of times you'll get a one on one where all you have to make is, you know, one guy miss and you can have a lot of success in both directions here. So it's really up to you. There's a lot of options here here but really I, I only want to go in the stock direction if it's a man coverage there's no cornerback outside there if it's a cover three and the cornerback's dropping back those are my opportunities cover four and the cornerback's dropping back otherwise you want to flip it and go to the uh, what I would consider the strong side because of the two receivers and you'll have a much more consistent output so pretty much every time I mean like the majority of the time my instinct is to flip it flip it with the right stick uh, you'll see how you know that receiver does a really good job of setting that edge and like, you see the blocking is just amazing I mean, it was that was that was about as easy as a run as I could have made anybody could have made that run I mean if we go to the replay and just watch how these blocks set up number one this receiver here just does a great job I think it's a linebacker he just seals that linebacker and then at that point I mean that's a good down block the, the receiver outside of him though he completely misses he completely whiffs on his assignment but it doesn't matter because we have such a blocking advantage coming in the form of pulling guards that first guard sets the edge that second guard sets the trailing sets the edge on the trailing linebackers he's coming through and then that receiver basically picks up that safety so even though he messed up on his first job he's not a great blocker he still has you know availability down the field and it's just you know there's nobody even close to me until i get about 15 to 20 yards down the field before the safety 
he finally cuts me off. And that's what I mean by this play. I mean, I pretty much, anytime it's a zone coverage, I'll have an advantage already based on the fact that if it's a man coverage, there'll be a, a, there'll be a matching cornerback on top of the receiver. But if it's a zone coverage, I'll already have a blocking advantage because I'll have uh, two receivers and a tight end and typically only two defenders to match that. But I'll also have a huge advantage with these pulling guards. These two pulling guards coming to the area will always give me a blocking advantage, making this one of the easiest plays to run uh, when it comes to any run play in Madden 22. So here we have that man coverage look where there's nothing out here to basically keep me from getting to the edge. So it's really best to just try to sprint this to the edge and get what you can get. If you have a fast enough guy, maybe you can get around that safety. Maybe you can make a miss, make a big play. That's one of the better things to do. That's one of the few times where you want to do it like that. Other than that, you're pretty much always going to want to go in the direction of your additional blocking, which if six can get on, oh man, I should have had a touchdown there. That sucks. I really should have had an easy touchdown to end this uh, particular play, but we're going to end it anyway. We're going to go, we're going to move on to the next play, which is going to be the stretch. Now the stretch in this particular formation and pretty much all these formations uh, when it comes to pistol really isn't that great. You'll see how, I mean here, this is a good opportunity for a stretch based on the fact that there's no real cornerback out there. I mean, there is one close to the line, but we might be able to get that guy and hold him down. The stretch runs on, on this, though, they really don't seem to take the same angle. They have the same type of acceleration. They're really, I mean, it's solid, and it's still a good opportunity, like right here. This is probably a cover three. So, once again, if it's a zone, flip it. I'll probably have a good opportunity if the cornerback drops back. You can see the blocking does a pretty good job based off of the fact that we do still have that blocking advantage, but it's not as good as the strong power or stretches in other formations. But it's still a really good run, and I still find it's going to be best if you flip it the other way. We haven't really spent too much time on the counter run or the halfback dive, though. And since we have that defensive end out so far wide of that defensive tackle, perfect opportunity for the counter run. You can see it goes right to that gap. So anytime you have that, it's a good opportunity to try to hit him inside. I probably should have went with just a regular halfback slam there, though. That probably would have been a little bit better. The counter ultimately is excessive, though. I mean, right, right here. We could go with that counter again. We have that gap. We have that outside linebacker out over that receiver. So there is always going to be opportunities, but I still feel like the power run and the stretch runner is pretty much the only two run plays you need. Now, to me, the best passing play is probably the PA boot over. It's something that isn't going to be too easy for your opponent to stop, especially if they're, you know, coming down trying to stop the run play. So let's go ahead and pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go random. This play is real simple. I mean, I could run it as is. A lot of times this tight end can get out in the flat and be a big play. All these routes are pretty much man beaters with the exception of that flat route. And you can see we get a man coverage on the very first play. And you can see the effect it's going to have on your opponent. But it's a really simple setup. Just put your A route in a streak and then work your way from front to back. Work your way from the Y route to the B route. The B route's definitely going to be the most consistent route. As you can see right here, it got open at about 40 yards when I pass let up. There are no zone drops that get open at 40 yards. You can always put that A route in a drag too. Really have that double drag effect. Uh, which can be, you know, helpful, especially if everybody's going one direction. You have a guy coming out underneath. Uh, you can have some really big catch and runs that way as well. So this is a play, like I said, you can run at stock. You can streak the tight end or you can drag them. They're all going to have success against zone coverage, though, especially if you're trying to get that uh, that deep receiver open against like a cover three like this. You're definitely going to want to put that guy on a streak because I have another poorly thrown ball. But you can see it's still having a lot of success. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more out of this playbook, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below